What's up guys, Mark Fleetwood here. Welcome back to the Daily Grind Trader. Today, we're doing some technical analysis. We're doing it on Bitcoin, VET, VChain, and BAT, Basic Attention Token. Guys, you know I'm in VET and BAT very heavily on leverage. I've been kind of stuck. Um, I want to find out where they're going, but we can't lose sight of the fact that Bitcoin drives the market. Bitcoin is the driving force, the dominant force in the market. So uh, most altcoins can't do anything unless uh, BE, unless uh, Bitcoin does it as well. So stay tuned. I'm gonna let you know what everything is doing and uh, what we're looking, what we're looking for. Yeah. All right, guys. First and foremost. Let's get the obvious out of the way. I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Um, I make these videos for educational entertainment purposes only. Uh, and hopefully you can start doing your own TA and your own analysis and drawing on your own charts and, and be able to uh, feel confident that you can make these calls and, and pick these things up yourself. All right, guys. Um, what I have right now in, in Bitcoin we're going to start with that because again, Bitcoin drives the market. Uh, you know, we had this long haul down. This this was that bad drop off, and this is on the hourly chart. So I'm going it. I'm doing it hourly just to really kind of hone in and really find, pick this apart. You know, with a fine tooth comb. This is going to be a mouthful. Uh, this is going to be a mouthful because this is a descending, broadening wedge. See the resistance line is coming down, it's descending, and the support line is coming down, but at a sharper angle. You can see hitting the support, hitting the support lower, um, it goes at a sharper angle down than the resistance does. It's broadening the size of the wedge. Um, don't worry, even though it looks like it's going down, but don't worry, this is a very bullish pattern. Um, so much so, so much so, I'm going to show you here. Um, so this descending broadening wedge, typical average gain is 33% after breakout up, or if it breaks down, it's a 20% decline. However, the most important part is the fact that the price breaks up 79% of the time. When it breaks down, 21%. 79% of the time is like having a pocket pair in your hand and hold them. Again, it's another hold them, another poker um, analogy. 79% of the time winner, it's gonna be like having a pocket pair and hitting your three of a kind on the flop. Um, that's a big time winner, a big time hand, big something you, you typically wanna get in on and you wanna bet on, that's a, that's a hand to bet on. Now, this particular hourly candle here, this one I thought was starting, it was starting to look like it was a red candle, it was starting to go down starting to get some buy pressure back up. My concern for all the altcoins and everything else I'm looking at is that if this does not break out soon, if this not, does not break out in the next couple of hours, it will likely start to come back down and potentially retest another support. If it retests the support, it's going to be under 47,000. It's going to be closer to 40, 46.5. And if it's a little bit later down here, it can be down as low as 46,000 even. I don't think that is going to be the case. Um, but if it does, just know that the, the longer this takes to touch the support again, uh, the lower that support is going to be because it is a descending scenario. Um, again, it's kind of kind of stuck here. It's a very indecisive candle. There's going to be a doji, a doji here, and this is down doji. If this goes Morningstar, we could be in a good for a good breakout. Actually, I'm excited. This could be a yeah. I mean, we might be seeing a a candle pattern within a um, within a formation. So this is a great great thing to talk about here. Have a formation. We are in a broadening descending wedge or descending broadening wedge, and we have a potential candle pattern happening. We have a downward momentum right now. If this becomes a doji where there's a total indecision on the candle, and then we have a buy up, uh, this could be, 
you know, this could be a little morning star that could be enough to push us over the top and push us into a, push us into a breakout. Again, the breakout's going to be roughly 33%, uh, 33% gains, and you're looking probably, you know, the most likely scenario is going to be 53,000. And we want it to be above 53. Because 53 has been a level of support resistance for us. It's been a critical level at 53,000 to stay above 53. It's been a critical level for us. Now, don't make me look like a don't make me like a jerk and then sell down and not make a doji. There's only like six minutes left in the hour. So come on, don't, don't, don't do that. Don't, don't be mean. All right. So I gotta figure out what this is doing. Um, I'm really hopeful it doesn't come all the way down and retest the support, but it could happen. Now, if that does happen, we have to worry about everything else. We're going to VET first. VET had or has broken out of a descending triangle. See the descending triangle pattern here, have our solid straight line support and a descending resistance. We had a breakout and we're looking at a retest, but we're not gonna have any real pressure, real buying pressure, real upward momentum until Bitcoin breaks up. Just what, just, it's just what it is right now. Everything is going to be waiting on Bitcoin to break up. And some, some coins, they move individually, but they're not always the same. It's not going to be coin X always moves individually to Bitcoin. Uh, it's just, at that point, it's random. It's a, it's a, it's a coin flip. It's, it's a toss up to which coin might go ahead and just continue to do its own thing without Bitcoin doing its thing. But here, I mean, we had a breakout and we were in a really good position and we're still, you know, the parabolic star is still underneath. We are still in buying pressure. And on a four hour, if you move this out to a four hour position, uh, hmm, that's weird. On KuCoin, the four hour has already had a candle underneath here, but not on Binance, it's interesting. It's interesting that the uh, technical analysis would be that much different. Let's take a look at that. That is very interesting. Um, so here, in the four hours, still in sell pressure. Um, a good upward candle, a good buying momentum candle could flip that and then you'd have a, a candle, a uh, SAR circle underneath here and that would be pushing it up. Think of the parabolic star as if it's above it, it's pushing down. If it's below it, it's pushing up. Uh, and then we're going to go into BAT because BAT is similarly doing the same thing. Um, on the hourly chart, it has broken out of an, ascending, of an ascending triangle. And there we go. We have this, or I'm sorry, descending triangle. I apologize. Descending resistance. Flatline support. Broke up. So back down, retested it. This is a strong, uh, this was a legitimate retest. Retest it right to the line and then start this buy back up. But again, look, it's already, it's tried to buy up higher. It was up, you know, a decent amount up on this wick, but it's just not getting any support for Bitcoin right now. We need Bitcoin's support. Bitcoin, we need you. We need you to start putting some work in. Guys, this video is going to be yeah, about average length. I feel like I've been uh, making it quick, but again, I talked about three coins here, so they just felt quick. Bitcoin needs to break out for the other two to break out. To have any type of significant breakout right now, I mean, yes, by definition, they are out of the triangle, they have broken out, but there's not going to be any significant movement until Bitcoin goes up. I can't stress enough not to lose focus and not to lose sight of the fact that Bitcoin drives the market and that Bitcoin is the driving force behind most of these altcoins. If Bitcoin goes down, everything goes down with it, or most everything goes down with it. Um, and what I lost sight of, and I'm going to show you this pattern real quick here before I call the video, is I lost sight. You know, I had this descending or this 
uh, bare flag and it broke down. Had another bare flag, fake broke down and it broke back up. After that, I just thought, hey, it's trading sideways. Um, it wasn't just trading sideways. It was in a pattern and it was not a super obvious pattern, but it was a pattern. This is an ascending wedge. Again, this would eventually get tighter and tighter because this would go something like this. Now the ascending wedge is a bearish pattern. You can you can give Elon Musk credit for this drop off. Yes, I'm sure the tweet has something to do with it, but the pattern was already tipping the scales towards a downward break. That's just what it was. It, the pattern was a bearish pattern, which means it was better than 50% of the time going to break down, and that's just what the heck it did, and it broke down hard. That means that I missed the fact that this was in the wedge. It was kind of just floating here, you know. It was. No real movement up, no real movement down, kind of just going back and forth. No real anything really to speak of, and it just didn't do much. But that pattern is a bear pattern. It is a rising wedge or an ascending wedge. And okay, cool. Uh, let's take a look at this last candle. The last candle finished in a doji, in a green doji. We could and we get buying pressure. We get some buy pressure. Come on, Bitcoin, buy this Bitcoin, buy it up, make a morning star, and we go boom. We go, we go all the way up 53k. We get a new level of support, and we are golden. So I'm going to cut this video and see if I can get it rendered fast enough for this to still be um, valid and for this to still be um, pertinent information to give you guys. So like if you liked, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell if you want to get notified every time I make a video and until next time as always peace